One brick at a time, masons help complete the buildings we see around us. And the Upstate Masonry Institute have a goal to advocate, educate, and encourage students across New York to consider masonry as a career. We go around to all different BOCES across New York State doing a week-long training to give them an idea of what masonry is. And we cover brick and block work because it's important that they know what the trades are all about. Bart McClellan worked in the industry for 50 years and helped in Mason apprentice programs. We have a 12 week free job program. It's kind of like a head start that you've, you've already got some experience, some knowledge of the basics before you start to work. From brick and block, concrete, plaster, tile, and more. Your brick vary in size and everything, so it's a, it's a craft that you have to learn all of these variables to make the building look good. If you've got a good piece of work, it looks good, it's a good piece of work. If it's not, it's structurally unsound also. For students at the Washington, Saratoga, Warren, Hamilton, Essex, Boses, they got to practice laying down the foundation. I like bricks instead of block because the blocks are really heavy. Yeah, bricks are also fun. I just, you know, that's how it looks when you're done, too. Reporting for Team, I'm Emma Quinn. Welding is really needed in a plethora of, of industries. Oh. Offshore wind, um, the automotive industry, um, any kind of manufacturing where they're uh, making parts for really anything. There are six students in Hudson Valley Community College's first welding and fabrication degree program. The Associates in Occupational Studies program launched in the fall 2021 semester. Basic welding program at first, but then in the, the second year we'll be getting any advanced uh, techniques like tape welding and pipe. Um, we're going to get into submerged arc welding. Learning in the lab, and with their virtual reality training equipment, Professor Kent Chase even let me try it out. Currently, there are 750,000 welders in the United States. According to the American Welding Society, half of them are over 55 years old and nearing retirement. Nationally, there's uh, quite a large demand. I mean, 350,000 welders will be needed, you know, in the coming years um, in the United States, and especially in um, New York State since we're a hub for uh, clean energy manufacturing. For students like Dominic DePiro, they'll be able to head right into the workforce upon graduating from the program. I think the thing that was different was I came into school and coming to school wasn't like, oh, you know, I got to come into school. It was like I was actually excited to come in. So um, that's been huge for me. I found something I really like. Students graduate the program with certifications from the nationally accredited Lincoln Electric NC3 which allows them the opportunity to work anywhere in the country. The average salary ranges from $45 to $60,000, depending on where you are in the United States. Reporting for Team and CBS 6 News, I'm Emma Quinn. The Goodspeed sisters are keeping family traditions alive. They are enrolled in skilled trade classes through the Wish We BOCES. Twins Laura and Grace are in auto body and environmental conservation. Older sister Liz is in auto tech. Everyone in my family has been in trades and I was surrounded by it and Lizzie inspired me. Um, my older sister and brother both went through environmental conservation here and it really inspired me to get to see what they do here. The girls will graduate from BOCES with certifications in their specific trade that will allow them to easily apply to jobs in their field. At the end of August, I'll be going to college at the NASCAR Tech Institute in North Carolina and from there I hope to work for the dealership that I'm working for right now as well as open my own shop for performance engine building. The sisters earn programs considered male dominated, something they say has posed challenges. You always have to prove yourself. You have to be on your A game all the time or be confident in yourself and the work that you're doing. But they hope to encourage and inspire other women to change the game. I think a lot more girls should come into trades if they enjoy it. Like you have to prove yourself but it's worth it. Like I love going in the trades. I can imagine not doing it. Reporting for Team Emma Quinn, CBS 6 News. The Sonic Spinners, the team of 8th graders from Sand Creek Middle School, took home first place at Nationals in May. It's a competition called Kid Win, where we have to build a wind turbine and put it in various um, speed wind tunnels. And 
the competition is basically who can generate more power with their wind turbine. Competition included putting their wind turbine through challenges and testing how well students know renewable energy. We sometimes have to share our knowledge about wind energy too and do something called instant challenges, which is like other forms of renewable energy. The two dominators, a crew of sixth graders, took home the judges' choice award. So we like we enjoyed the thrill of it. Like we love to see like the other people's turbines and like how they performed, and also a bunch of instant challenges. Like they just test our like potential, like what we can do, like solar and hydro. And then we also had a lot of fun, like just like testing this turbine mm -hmm. and like building on it. Since September, students stayed after school with STEM teacher Jim Brown honing in on their skills. The, the importance is them learning the skills. Uh, by working in their cooperative teams on how to build, how to problem solve, but then uh, that's tying into their classroom curriculum that they're learning across all their classes, uh, whether it be you know the science of how do we physically generate electricity to the you know language arts or the presentation skills, and provides students real world experiences. But then also this is you know society today, right? We're moving towards more renewable energy, so. The students are learning about something that's impacting them directly and into the future. So, Reporting for Team, I'm Emma Quinn.